when Thomas Edison was one of the most famous scientists of today. He invented the telegraph, electric light bulb, alkaline storage batteries, and in 1869, Edison went to New York City to develop his first innovation, the stock ticker. Edison was interested in a, raw, in a wide variety of subjects, which helped him to evolve as a learner and create the scientist he became. Unfortunately, he died on October 18, 1931. Mother died in 1871. In that same year, he married 16-year-old Mary Stilwell. Edison's wife, Mary, died in, August, died in August 1884. And in 1886, he married Nina Miller. Um, he saved a three-year-old from a train, and in return, the child's father taught him how to work a telegraph. And when he came back home in 1868, Edison found his mother ill and his father out of work. Edison became completely deaf in his left ear and around 80% around deaf in his right ear. And a good friend of, Tom, of Thomas Edison is Henry Ford. At age 19, he moved to Louisville, Kentucky to work for the Associated Press. At only 22 years old, he was awarded for $4,000 for the rights of his first invention by the Golden Stock Telegraph Company. Edison had a long-lasting rivalry with uh, Nikola Tesla, who was an engineer visionary, ironically. She worked with Edison's company prior. He was partner. He was partner with the Western Union Telegraph Company, and later on, he founded the or Edison founded the Illuminating Company, which was later called General Electric. Light bulb lights our everyday world and helps society keep running. From his invention, many scientists have adapted to his ways and continue to work with the product of the light bulb. So look at these light bulbs. They light our world. One of Thomas Edison's least successful invention was the talking doll. The reason for it being unsuccessful was that they used a woman's voice in recordings for, for the doll to talk, and the woman's the woman's voice was very creepy and died out very and died out quickly. Also, children had to turn a crank to produce the sound at the same speed, or else it wouldn't work. And the sales decreased thirty days after being on the market. Russian invention. He tried to make a magnetic iron ore separator. However. At the time, the iron and other prices went down, so there was no need. Later, he went back and took all the materials to make a cement kit to improve the cement kiln industry. Thomas Edison's values are ones that we still use today, no matter how bizarre they were. Hard work was one of the was one of the most popular values that he had. He thought that with any hard work, anything could get done, and any goal could be achieved. Therefore, one of his most popular quotes is, there is no substitute for hard work. Another famous quote that many people live by today, including scientists and other people around the world, is, I have not failed, I have just found 10,000 ways that won't work. It's a great motivation, and his values are key to all of our daily life. He's being deaf, and the only regret that he had was that he couldn't hear the birds chirp. Another, a different one would be, he would show electric dangers. He had a lot of technical expertise, and the security of the Navy in World War I wrote him a letter offering Edison chairmanship of the new Naval Facilities Board. Thomas Edison, one of the most popular scientists of, our, of today, is perceived as a role model and a hero for scientists all around the world. Some of Thomas Edison's proudest moments were when he created the phonograph because he stumbled upon it and turned out to be one of his most successful. Another proudest moment was when he created the light bulb, and then by the time he died, people around the world, people around the world were using the light bulb to light up their homes, businesses. And a bunch this of factor was not in his entire life. He, he would still do normal things. His, one of his favorite pastimes was doing experiments. At a job, he, he experimented with some lead and iron, and eventually got on fire. But he was still finding experiments. Um, different pastimes he liked to do is read. Reading. It doesn't affect his life that much as in job wise, but he was still reading. One time he saved a child from a train and because of that he was able to get a job from the 